you still have fans out here lingering. We've watched the players come and go, but these fans are just out here really savoring this in, taking this all in. Some of these fans got out here at 10.30 this morning. We all know how late of a night it was last night, but you talked to them and they said they just wanted to thank the team for all they have done for this city and for this fan base after waiting for so long. And these players, you know, we talked to them as they got off the bus and they were excited and they said they were expecting some fans at the K, but not this many, including Chris Medlin, who we talked to just a few minutes ago. Not shock, but you know, just the, just the surreal feeling that you you never really know what you're gonna what you're gonna feel like. But and you were probably here. expecting some fans when you got off the bus, but when you saw all these people, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, they uh, even during regular season road trips, I mean, uh, once we would come back after a good one, I mean, they're 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 here every time. So, you know, the assumption that they're gonna be here was was definitely there. But I mean, they were we had fans on overpasses and, and all that stuff. So it was uh, just really cool to see. Uh, you know, obviously the entire year. Um, they came out and um, they they absolutely love us and uh, we love them. Looking forward to tomorrow. Absolutely, yeah. Now throughout this postseason, we've really watched as this fan base has wanted to enjoy this collectively from last night at Power and Light in Westport, really wanting to celebrate this together, and that's what we saw this afternoon here. Mothers and fathers with their kids, everyone really enjoying this, and everyone saying they can't wait for tomorrow. I'm outside the K, Eli Rosenberg, KNBC 9 News.